All year round, this printer in Gaza struggles with power shortages. But as electricity usage in the Palestinian enclave spiked with cold weather, supply dropped from eight hours a day to as little as four. As you can see, now the electricity has cut out. We had three or four hours and then it cut. Right now, I'm using a battery and a charger. Angry at being left in the dark, Gaza residents have protested in the streets. But the ruling Hamas movement dispersed them and carried out arrests. This activist involved in the demonstrations has just returned home after days in hiding. He says the threat of arrest won't stop them. This didn't stop us. Before the day of the protest, we protected each other to make a success of this peaceful movement. This movement that people have needed for 10 years. Gaza, under blockade for a decade, has had shortages for years because of aging power infrastructure and low capacity. The cuts have been made worse by disputes between Hamas and Fatah, the rival group which governs the West Bank. But following the recent protests, Hamas sought outside help and says it has now returned to providing eight hours of power per day. The leadership of Hamas has contacted its Qatari and Turkish brothers who've offered support and who will contribute to reducing the electricity crisis. The streets of Jabalia refugee camp are quiet again now. Gaza residents know the difficulties of providing power to the enclave. But Hamas must now be seen to respond to their frustrations to avoid further tensions.